First Alert Chief Meteorologist Steve Templeton here. We have a First Alert weather day for Thursday. It'll be the afternoon and evening to stay on guard. We're in the lowest level one severe threat, so it is a low risk compared to what we had last week. It's not that type of setup. And actually, we have some rain in the morning to midday, not expected to be severe, but heads up on that. In fact, that earlier day rain may sap the atmosphere of the energy needed, the storm fuel needed for afternoon, evening, strong to severe storms. So that actually could help us. It's one of the reasons why it's a low risk at this point. We're unsure we'll even see enough storm fuel build up, but let's be alert afternoon to evening for isolated severe storms, hail and wind, the main threat. Now the tornado threat's very low, but can't be ruled out. We'll be on guard either way. So here's how things play out with a dry evening tonight. And then tomorrow morning, even by the morning rush, we could see a few showers sneak in here. Some of the models show some of that rain out west sneaking into St. Louis. So I'd say 7 a.m. to about noon, be on guard for a shower, even a thunder shower. Again, that batch not expected to be severe. But then here we go in the afternoon. It's pretty hit or miss. It's not widespread, but these isolated storms could be severe. 3 o'clock, here's 6 o'clock. As we head into the evening, may see a couple more even by 9 p.m. I think by about 10, 11 o'clock, that threat really diminishes. But then we watch for some rain and thunderstorms to surge from the southwest into our area for Friday morning. Could see some of that rain linger into the afternoon. I don't anticipate that to be severe, but it does mean more rain in the forecast Friday, especially in the morning. Let's start with Thursday morning, 7 a.m. in your planner. We're at 62, chance for a few showers. By noon, scattered showers or a thunderstorm, we're at 71. You'll notice the humidity increasing in the afternoon, and that's part of the atmosphere trying to build up that storm fuel needed for a severe storm. So let's watch 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock into the evening here for a strong to severe storm, but the high will be 75. Normal high 77, so pretty close to normal. Now Friday, we do have that chance for rain lingering. The whole system is kind of slow to move out. The front has and pass, so we still have a chance of rain, especially in the morning, but still could have rain and some thunder in the afternoon. I don't expect that to be severe. 75 for the high Friday, and then Saturday, 83. It gets warmer. This system from Friday may linger into Saturday morning and produce some rain. One of our forecast models shows that trend. The other zips this system out of here by Friday evening and keeps us dry. So I'm leaning more towards a mainly dry weekend. I just want to mention we need to watch that for Saturday. Sunday, I have dry and partly to mostly sunny and continuing to warm up with a high of 86. So the warming trend will kick into gear over the weekend. So first alert weather day for Thursday, rain but not likely severe on Friday, and then Saturday likely dry, but let's keep an eye on how quickly the system exits our area first. We're warm and dry for Sunday, and then we'll see another chance of rain as we head into early next week, but the high temperatures remaining pretty toasty, highs in the upper 80s Monday and Tuesday.